What's going on guys, Rich here for Rageworks, and usually this would be in a box. Unfortunately, we did not get a retail box with our review unit, but what you are looking at here is the Disk Station DS216J from our friends at Synology who were kind enough to send us this for review. Now, most people know a lot of network hard drives are pretty much plug and play, set it and forget it, and that's it. Our friends at Synology, though, do things a little differently. In addition to giving us a network attached server, we are also getting a complete ecosystem of applications that will allow you to not only do things like stream audio and photos, but also do surveillance, manage websites, and a host of other awesome things. Uh, we currently have the DS uh, 416 J powering Rageworks here at Rageworks Studios hosting all our video all our audio and a ton of other stuff but our friends at Synology sent us this one because this one is a little different as you can see it is very very small and that is because this particular unit is a two bay uh, NAS so what will happen is you'll be able to have a storage capacity of up to 20 terabytes 10 terabytes for each drive but of course the capacity will vary based on raid types but the beauty of it is that you can use this in a jbod configuration which if you don't know what that means that's just a bunch of disks so you can get a full 20 terabyte storage capacity but i personally don't recommend it because you run into a situation where if a hard drive fails you risk losing everything but that's not all you have at your disposal. You have a couple of other RAID configurations that you can use, including RAID 0, RAID 1, uh, JBOD, like I said, and of course the Synology Hybrid RAID, which is what I currently use. Now, a little bit of background. This is a very, very small unit. I'm going to show you guys later on in this video a comparison between this and our current uh, 416J. Uh, but like I said, the beauty of this unit is as a small footprint can take both two and a half and three and a half inch drives. And best of all, you also have two USB 3s and of course your Ethernet port in the back. Uh, very quiet, very nice. And I want to show you real quick how to install those new drives. So if you were purchasing this for the first time, Synology actually included storage in this but for our tests we will probably use drives from our own unit uh, very easy two screw installation as you can see popping these out and what you're getting these are very small I gotta be careful we don't lose them because they will be very very upset with me if I lose the screws I should have used the drill but if you guys know with tech stuff sometimes Drills can be a gift and a curse. So, very easy. Pop off two screws and there we go. So, you don't force this open, you actually slide it out like so. And you can put in two hard drives. Apologies for the glare. Uh, right now, they sent this to us with two two terabyte drives like I said you can go as high as 20 um, but you really don't want to do that you want to have um, if you're doing a raid configuration obviously you're gonna go as as high as possible but you're not gonna obviously use the full capacity but as I said very easy two screw installation you attach the drives uh, screw based and I know a lot of people were probably hoping for a hot swappable drives unfortunately this is one of those situations where um you know if you want something hot swappable you're going to want to go with a more expensive solution but overall this is a very easy to use and rather easily accessible way to get a nas server for very low cost uh before i screw this back together i'm going to put it on the side show you guys what else is in the box 
you get this other small box here you're gonna get a quick installation guide you get one ethernet cable power cord power supply and additional screws because you know you're definitely prone to losing them I've lost screws that are that small before um, as I said Synology has been the backbone of Rageworks for quite some time and the unit this particular unit is one that I'm definitely looking forward to checking out I uh, just want to give you a couple of other details before we wrap up this quasi unboxing uh, the CPU that's in there is a Marvell Armada 385 it is a 32-bit CPU dual core 1.0 gigahertz internal system memory is 512 uh, DDR3 and like I said you got two USB 3 ports and one LAN port on the back now as someone who's been using Synology for quite some time this is a great entry-level unit that you can pick up for less than two hundred dollars and jump right into network attached storage now aside from as I said being a storage a storage device you can also use it for sharing photos through your house transcoding audio tracks into mp3s which of course reduce streaming bandwidth plus you'll be able to stream and feed media throughout your whole house plus in addition to that you can actually utilize uh, different types of cloud service options as well using an add-on called cloud station which I'll get into in our software walkthrough but overall I gotta tell you the Synology platform all their hardware devices including this one are very easy to use plug-and-play and it's one that I recommend to everyone and as a former Windows home server owner um, you know this is one of those situations where I needed something easy but robust to not only meet my needs for storage but also meet my needs for feeding media throughout my home so very small footprint like I said I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pieces in a moment in terms of scale so you can see that this is something that's not gonna take up a lot of space whether it's on a desk on a shelf or anywhere for that matter in your PC setup so this is our unboxing of the disk station DS 216 J check out some sample shots so you can see uh, the scale between this and our other Synology unit and also some comparison shots as well we'll show you that in a second but I want to also direct you guys to check out our review of this unit which can be found on rageworks.net link for that will be in the notes for this video if you're interested in picking up a Synology device there's also a link below in the, sh in the notes for this video to pick up one for your home as well and as always if you guys have any questions about using Synology in your home definitely feel free to reach out I'll try and answer them as best as possible as I said this has been running our back end here at Rageworks for quite some time including 400 episodes of of the my take radio podcast plus all the shows on the Rageworks network and a bunch of other stuff as well as I said check out our review on rageworks.net and without any further ado check out these comparison shots all right guys so as you can see in those comparison shots the unit is very very small in relation to the DS 216 J and the 416 J which is what we're currently using it's a night and day difference in terms of size I also like the fact that you can adjust the the lights and the brightness on this unit which they added as an add-on for my older unit but it's a lot smoother on this one in addition to that uh, just a quick heads up the uh, 416 J before you guys ask has been replaced by a newer model if you guys are curious about what that model is feel free to ask in the comments and we will let you guys know currently on this one that we are using the 416 J we have 12 terabytes of storage I'm sure somebody's gonna ask so 12 terabytes is what we have in there hosting 
all of our stuff, all of our back end, and it's been great. So check out our review on RageWorks.net, and last but not least, thank you to Synology for sending us this NAS to check out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, A, you're entitled to your opinion. And as always, if you haven't, please click that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest unboxings, product reviews, toys, event coverage, and so much more from your friends at Rageworks. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.